They'll have a packed in in West End tonight for Duke and Nashville. Brickhouse gets out in front of this one. He hits it a long way, a long way out of the ball yard. Spencer Brickhouse, 14th home run of the year into the wind, and East Carolina is finally on the board. Two three-ball counts. Well hit to right field. This ball is carrying. It's back, and it is gone. Cody Masters leaves the yard. So that tells you something about your vision. Garcia skies it. Dylan Noisy is just saying, I'm going to stop jogging. That is a bomb for Alex Garcia, his second home run of the NCAA tournament. Well, he's got tremendous power. And this is a no doubt. <laughs> But before that, got to get through this Super Regional round. First pitch swinging. High archer, Trevor Boone going back. Boone is up, and it's left the yard. Josh Young responds with the solo shot. Texas Tech in Lubbock. Trevin. Left center, deep, gone! Three-run shot, Kyle Gallagher. And that was blasted. And they've got Hunter Davis back, too. That ball's drilled, deep, gone. Into the Knights, Philip Clark. The game, well now the analytics side of the game. Ball is hammered deep right field. This could be trouble. It's gone. Two-run blast for Williams, who continues to scorch the baseball. What an at-bat for Young Life. Hammered high and deep to right. Tessa looks back and watches it go. Somewhere, Josh Donaldson might be smiling. Certainly, Edouard Julien and Auburn Nation is. That ball was crushed. The 2-0 to Kessinger, and he lifts it high and fairly deep to left. It is carrying, and it is gone. Home run, Gray Kessinger. His sixth of the year. And the powder blue jumps out to a 1-0 lead. You need somebody to do something special early to give you that early confidence. You score first. Hit high. Wind going out that way. Back to the wall. Servidio watches it lead. Goodbye home run. A three-run shot for Jack Kenley. And there's that offense we were talking about. His 13th home run of the year. And it's 4-1 home. to the gap in right center and it's off the scoreboard. Goodbye home run. Matt Goodhart with his fourth home run in the last few weeks.
This one a two-run shot, and it's nine to one Arkansas. For the Rebels at the plate, and start getting some outs, but they're not here. Another home run for Arkansas, and it's the tenth of the year for Ezel. It's ten to one. Third homer today for the Hawks. Louisville, Kentucky, what a show by Isaiah Campbell, the starter for Arkansas. Gets Thomas Dillard to sky to left, and it is carrying, and it is gone. A home run for the Ole Miss left fielder. And it's 11-2. Both runs have come on homers for the Rebels here today. Well, the 101st pitch from Isaiah Campbell here in the ninth, I mean, he is just going to be throwing fast. Big man on deck. Sticks with the fastball, and it's driven high and deep to right field. And he has done it. A tie game thanks to Albert's bat over the bleachers. A three-run shot. Continued to throw the fat. And he lifts another one high and deep to right field. Duplantis gets turned around. Can't find it because it's in the bleachers. Albert's done it again. Second home run of the game. He scored the lone run for the Pokes to left field. It's back. Kurt Wilson is going to the fence. This is not coming back. The most unlikely home run threat in the Cowboys lineup has done it. Houston Morrill with his second home run of the season. Right in the first inning that got Oklahoma State on the board. A rip, an absolute bomb by Colin Simpson going back. Oklahoma State taking the lead back. The 1 1. Donovan a drive oh, left field going back. Jack Stronic looks. It is gone, and Michigan has the lead. Joe Donovan is eighth of the year. 3-1 Michigan. A no-doubter from the Wolverines catcher. Well, let's go to Omaha. Tolia lifts it to left. Going back, Christian Bullock. We are tied. Opposite field, Michael Tolia. Mom and Dad love it. The 17th for Tolia, who comes through for UCLA and ties the game. Landed between Zabowski and Adams. Two outs. Pitch to Fletcher is hit high and deep. Goodbye, no doubt about it, home run. Two nothing Razorbacks. For three in the Super Regional. But he unloads here, and Ole Miss has the lead. Wow. 
three-run shot for Zabowski, his 12th of the year, and Ole Miss leads it 3-2. to two. Well, that'll make up for the play in the field. Neither pitcher today is going to be overpowering, so if they split the fastball... It... Sixth round pick of the Tigers, and this is down the line. Long way, looking up and watching it go is Kerstad. Opposite field, home run for Cooper Johnson. Just inside the foul pole and right. And that leads off the second, it's four to two. That is a nice pitch by Connor Nolan, but an even better job. Things have started to settle down a little bit for both sides. Boy, this is touched. High and deep, forget about it. Keenan admires that one as it flies out to right. His 15th bomb of the year. And that pushes the lead back to four for Ole Miss. The only ticket punch so far in the field. This is hit high and deep to left. Another no-doubter for Kessinger this time. Man. Ole Miss swinging the bats well in game two. Two-run shot. And it's now 13 to five. Mercy. You're looking at... He's got a really... He's got a fly ball pitcher, and that's dangerous. And that's a fly ball, and that's well hit. Taylor tracking at the wall. Austin Martin. <laughs> Moment consume you. At the corners. <laughs> to the left. And deep. never won less than 40. His worst season, worst season, was 40 wins in a regional appearance. Maxwell, the left field, and deep, and gone! And the big kid from this state here in Tennessee, Rudy Maxwell, with a solo shot to left. He had the big pinch hit three-run homer in the regional. Played a couple series on campus in this past season. 3-2. That ball's hit to right and hit pretty well and deep and gone. And Duke has their second homer, Michael Rothenberg, his 11th of the season. And if you are making that list for the 2020 Major League Draft, Rothenberg's name needs to be on your watch list. Yeah, that's, you don't see this type of power in the seventh inning, Rich. If you're cool oh. uh-oh. High fly ball, Shrek to the wall. And it's gone. Steven Scott. That was about eye level with the top of that parking garage group. They've lost two Super Regionals in a row, and it's just been a lot for this program to work through. There's the power from Infante, and that ball is out of here. We've been talking about it all weekend, and he goes opposite fields. His 12th of the season. That's the fifth home run of the day for Vin Trevor Boone leading off. Leading home run man with 20 on the season. Could this be 21? And it will be. 
Trevor Boone busted out in the big way, and the Pokes take the one nothing lead. It is a day. That thing done? Uh, within reason, Keith. Within reason for sure. I mean, obviously. Okay. And there is Josh Young going back. And a solo <laughs> home run for Young. Coach, we appreciate the time. Yeah, okay. Josh Young destroyed that baseball for his 13th home run of the season. What's happened? You knew you were going to get the second half of this game, and it was going to be in the hands of the bullpen. This ball hit well. To center field, Trevor Boone is trying to bring it back. That's off the Big 12 logo. Big fly, Braxton Fulford. The young man from Lubbock bringing the hometown to a free. Because you get the ball in the air today, it's got a chance to get out of here. Elevate and celebrate, and Cavanis is going to do just that. Otrimba slams into the wall, and Cade Cavanis has tied it up at four. What a series between both of these teams. Tough inning. Simpson to the moon. Colin Simpson, the team leader for the second straight evening, has delivered in the clutch for the Cowboys. Young lifts it to right field, looking for his second home run. This one's launched towards right field, wind pushing it. It is foul. Oh, it's gone, a home run. Antoine Duplantis with a leadoff shot here in the fourth. Nanner DeSantis is saying, put the headset on. Let's review that one. Reese Albert, the right fielder, saying, I don't know what you're talking about. That one had to have been foul. Regional. They didn't even get to Omaha. I remember that team. Oh, that ball is smoked deep to right center. It can anybody catch it? Yeah, the guy in the second row. Home run, Kyle Stow Stowers, his ninth of the year. Double play. Priest, a drive out toward left center field. Jesse Franklin back at the wall. We are tied. Third home run of the postseason. It's the senior Jake Priest tying the game for UCLA.
Into right field, hit deep. Roberts backing up, it's over his head. It is gone! First hit of the weekend for Judd Ward. It's a bomb. Ashton McGee, the junior from Pikeville, North Carolina, puts a jolt into the baseball and sends it over the porch and right. The Tar Heels hit seven home runs in the regionals. That's their first of the Supers. Sabato hammers one high and deep, and there she goes. Just a matter of time before that freshman muscled one out of the yard. His 17th of the year. He will become a household name next season as a sophomore. But right now in dire need of a miracle to keep that season alive. Sabato driving another one deep left center field. And at the wall, leaping and unable to make the catch. Another home run for Sabato. His second one in as many at bats. Jack Henley, Casey opens five, six, and seven for the Hawks. Oh my! Oh my! Good home run, Heston Kerstad, with another mammoth shot. He has had many this year. That's number 16, and it's nine to one. When you're feeling it, road, but. Seems to really benefit Arkansas. Oh my. Now it has hit a ton. Opitz making a bid. And he snuck it out of here. Two run blast for Casey Opitz. Just his third home run of the year, but he says, why not? I'm going to get in on this parade. 